So, game time part one. As always, Mutt Leaks have revealed the whole entire promo. And this is going to be quite the extensive, amazing promo. So not only do we get limited time of Xavier Worthy and Nate Wiggins. First off, Xavier Worthy is going to have like 90 some odd speed. And Nate Wiggins is also going to have like 90 some odd speed. Which is going to be freaking broken. They're going to be limited time, so they're going to be impossible to get anyway. Both of these cards are probably going to be million plus coins, so that really isn't much of the promo that matters. Um, we get an 87 overall Micah Parsons, CJ Stroud, and Brock Bowers. Okay. An 87 overall Game Time Lineup Shuffle Award of Tremaine Edmonds. An additional 84, 82s, and 80 overall. So, yeah, EA Sports going a little crazy when it comes to this. And, and maybe Xavier Worthy won't have 90 speed. I see, I want to say 90 speed, but I feel like we're still early in this game that there's no way 90 speed. Vic just got 87 speed. He's not going to have 90 speed. He'll probably have 88 or 89 speed because. That, that kind of seems more realistic. He might have 90, though. Tell me down below what uh, speed do you think he's going to have. I don't think he's going to have that. He can't have 90, though. I just feel like 90 is like that next threshold. And obviously, every year, the thresholds are different when it comes to, like, the ratings. But I just feel like 90 would be insanity. Especially still in... I don't know, this actually comes out in September, technically. But still, in September... A 90 speed wide receiver. Maybe that's not too, too crazy, but I feel like low key it is. And I also realized, dude, Mutt Leaks. Oh my lord, dude. He He's releasing every single card of the promo. I don't know how EA does not have the rights to sue him. Like, again, listen, I don't, at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know, cool. We get to see all the cards and then release. But still, bro. But still. Like, bruh. There is no way EA does not eventually put a lawsuit on, on Mutlix. They tried to silence him with, I believe, a cease and desist letter. And he just didn't listen. And cease and desist is just the next level to suing someone. So, I just, I, I don't get it. Because I feel like, with, especially with EA, man, they take down everything. There has to be some type of situation where they just can't get him with this. Like, maybe it's because the fact he's not leaking information that is under an NDA or he's not agreeing to not leak certain things. Like, there's got to be something here that he is kind of finessing around to leak this stuff. Because, I mean, just because you buy a game doesn't mean you own it technically as we all know when you buy a game you technically are just renting it so i don't know tell me down below your thoughts opinions i'll see you guys next one peace